Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, Senate Bill 353 bans guns in private schools. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. My name is John Jocelyn. I'm speaking on behalf of the Associated Gun Clubs of Baltimore. You've just heard testimony that this bill bans guns in private schools. That raises the question before the committee, why? History has shown us that bans on guns in private schools or public schools have absolutely no deterrent value. Those who would do harm to people on school property are not at all deterred by a ban on firearms on that property. However, non-criminals on school property are not a hazard to the school or the students. When I was in high school, I shot on the rifle team for Calvert Hall, and I routinely brought a rifle to school with me and left it in my school locker. At no time did this compromise the safety of any member of the school population or the faculty. The operative word in the term private school is private. These schools are private by choice and they should be allowed to set their own standards. They should be allowed to determine whether or not a handgun, long gun, shotgun is permitted on their property. They can just as effectively enforce that as this law could. This bill extends the ban from public schools to private schools. It contains a provision that's rather curious. It allows that the private school can have someone armed on the property specifically for the purpose of guarding the private school property. Now here's where the curiosity comes in. This overlaps somewhat with Senate Bill 729. According to the Attorney General's office, there is no authority for a police officer to use deadly force to protect property. So if we're allowing off-duty police officers to protect property on private property, they don't need their gun because they can't use it to protect that property. The only reason they could use it would be for self-defense, but self-defense is not included in the language of this bill. It leaves us wondering why we're going there and where are we going there. The bottom line is very, very simple. The Maryland General Assembly should be in the business of protecting the rights and liberty of its citizens. It shouldn't be in the business of passing more regulations just because it has an opportunity to do so. We oppose this bill as being unnecessary and overly restrictive on schools that have chosen to be private. We strongly oppose this legislation. Thank you.